Hey YouTube, I'm bringing you another tutorial on Cinema 4D and today I'm gonna do a wireframe um, tutorial, yeah, <laughs> sorry for that. So what I'm gonna do, let me show you an example of what I'm talking about, is this, so you can see. So this is really simple, I just have a plane in here and that's it. You can use any other object. Uh, let me create a new file. I'm gonna go to the render settings to change the render options to the output. I'm gonna change it to HDV, HDTV 720. I'm gonna put it to all frames. This is my usual setup. Then I'm gonna go to effects. I'm gonna go to ambient occlusion and I'm gonna add another one. Cell render. So now that we have both of them, go to the view, go back to the view, and if you don't have the render settings here, you can go here. Oh, oh, sh oh no, I'm sorry, here. This one. This one is the render settings. Yep. So now that we have that, we're gonna pull out a plane, or you can use a cube. I'm gonna use both of them. I'm gonna make the cube smaller. Uh, yes, 100. I copy that and paste it on both and I'm going to increase the segments to 8 maybe and 8 by 8 so I'm going to use every single I'm going to use the Y, the, the X, Y and Z segments to 8 and for the plane I'm going to leave it to 20 I'm going to make the plane bigger maybe uh, 8 Hunter, gonna copy that and paste it. Okay, good to go. So if you want some lighting, I don't know if this will affect. Uh, let's see. Now you can render, and it will look like that because we haven't um, we haven't set up the cell render. So now we can go back to the render settings. If you see it, it's like that. You can go back to render settings and go to the cell render. Now you can put, you have to click this too. This one has to be checked. And now you can play with the colors. I'm going to leave it to black and I'm going to put this to red. Yes, because I like red. Uh, you can use the color so, so it will use the uh, default colors. Let's see. I'm gonna just create a material now if I render. Yeah, as you can see, it looks nice, but I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna take off the material. Uh, take this off and go back to the render settings and check that. Now, if you render, it's gonna be all black and then the, the segments are gonna be red. Yep. There you go. I don't know if you can do this with a transparent, like make it transparent. I will try to do that right now so I'm gonna go to the save I'm gonna put this to PNG make the alpha channel turn the alpha channel on I'm gonna put the depth to 16 bit and I'm just gonna save a picture on the desktop test um, I'm gonna put this to current frame and I'm gonna render let's see if it works <laughs> okay, so um, let's see if it works. Uh, let's go to the desktop. It should be somewhere. What are you? Here it is. Here it is. And nope, it doesn't make it transparent. Only the background, the things. But there is another way. I think that you can do it transparently. Uh, let me show you this way. Let's see if I can. It, I'm gonna take off the this is just to test I don't know if you guys can if it works yeah I don't know I'm gonna delete the cell I'm gonna go to the plane and I'm gonna use go to here and use the atom array I'm gonna drag the plane into the atom array play with the atom array settings and I'm gonna put this 
gonna make the cylinder cylinder radius is this this is the cylinder and this is the sphere it looks really nice like that but I I just wanted to make it look different so I'm gonna put this to one can't tell is there so so I'm gonna put it to point one and uh, sphere I'm gonna put it to point five or maybe point two yeah as well and there you go that's how you make it transparently and you can make a um what is it called material yeah and then drag it here now let's render these let's go to the second second frame now we can render and if you go to the picture we will see that it's transparent you can use this for an intro uh, it's really nice it's really useful uh, so that's how you do wireframe make it transparently and then make the other one look like um, what is it called Tron grid it looks sick I like it so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I I hope I enjoyed doing this tutorial so if you guys have any request tutorials that you want just leave it in the description description I mean comments and I will do the tutorial so I will try my best to do that and see you next time guys peace